Hey guys, I'm Alan Gomez here and welcome back to another video. Today we are doing a guide on how to find your perfect Sizzly Paris powder. Oh yeah! I am beyond excited to do this video. I've done a similar video like this before with the two Charlotte Tilbury powders and you guys seem to enjoy it a lot. We all know that Charlotte Tilbury and Sizzly Paris they're like my babies when it comes to beauty and I have not done a video like that on Sizzly and I recently bought the third and last Sizzly powder in the installment and I wanted to do a dedicated video on it but I thought no let's just go the full way and do a ultimate comparison video. So today we're talking about the Sizzly Blur Expert, the Fito Poudre Libre and the Fito Poudre Compact. For the previous two, I actually have dedicated videos that you can obviously check out after this one, but we have not talked about that one before, so we're gonna do that in a second. The way that I thought we're gonna go about this whole topic is that I'm gonna quickly do a run through of all three of the powders, give you the rough edges of them and then we're gonna go to part two the ranking basically i came up with different categories where i will rank the powders and of course give my explanation on why i would rank them that way and not just be like well that's the way it is you know so the video consists out of two parts basically if you guys are interested then you could give this a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel because we're heading for the millions at least in my head. But if you subscribe, we're heading for them every left too. Don't forget to ring a bell to get notified when I post the videos normally every Mondays and Fridays. Always uploaded at 6 p.m. Central European time, which is 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Without further ado, let's just hit. Oh, we don't have an intro anymore. Let's just jump right into this video. That's what I wanted to say. Pardon me. I'm all over the place today, but it will still be a fabulous video, not gonna lie. I do have notes on my phone, and these notes try to remind me that I will not judge the pricing just because all three of these are in the same price category. Roughly, they retail for 75 euros if you're in Europe. Hi, how are you doing my fellow Austrians? And somewhere between 95 to 100 US dollars. You also get a similar amount of product in it. Just the actual feeling of all three of these is buttery. So they're finely, finely, finely milled. That will also not be taken in consideration because they're just real good. So now that we have this out of the way, let's start right off with the first powder, which is the Blur Expert. This was my first ever Sisley product I bought over a year ago. The Blur Expert powder comes in one universally flattering shade. This one does have a base pigment to it, so... I wouldn't personally call it universally flattering, but Sizzly does. And the reason why I wanted to start off with this one is actually because I do think that it is, and it's just allegedly, low-key advertised in the wrong way. Sizzly basically tells you that this is the Sizzly filter for real life, which is true. This is an amazing blurring powder, but not necessarily a setting powder. The way that I love to use this one is going in with a big fluffy brush. This one is by Itch Cosmetics. You of course could use the dedicated Sisley one too. You just go in, you don't have to worry, there is no fallout whatsoever, and you just apply this all over your face as a finishing product. It is matte in its consistency, however it doesn't overly mattify your skin, so if you wear a luminous foundation you don't have to worry about it too much. I made two videos actually dedicated to this one because the first one was uh, First Impressions and I'm not gonna lie, I used it the way Sizzly told you to, so basically as a setting powder. Actually it took me a little while and a second chance to understand that this is actually more meant as a finishing powder than an actual setting powder. Another way to use this, and this is controversial, because not a lot of people talk about that. I heard this the first time from an amazing beauty guru called Michelle Wang. I love her so much. She's one of the few people I still watch on YouTube. I actually stumbled across her video and she said that you need to apply this with a densely packed brush. This one is by Real Techniques. Really go in once more. Again, there's no fallout. This is it's a non-powdery powder, I don't know how Sizzly made this. And you stamp this on your problem areas such as acne scarring, wrinkles, big pores, before even applying your base. So basically as a primer, a lifesaver in a compact 
if you have textured skin. The second powder is the Fito Poudre Libre, as fellow Americans would say, or Fito Poudre Libre, as French people would say. Frog. <laughs> We're gonna call it the loose setting powder because this is easier to pronounce for me. It comes in four different colorways and actually two different finishes, matte and luminous. This one is in the shade matte, so I think the finish explains itself. You open it up and this is the first ever loose powder that I owned with an actual mirror in it. It has a sifter, of course. And it comes with a gorgeous powder puff. You can use this powder with a puff or with a brush, it works both ways. This is a non-detectable powder. It sits on the skin like, honestly, like nothing. It wears beautifully. It's very buttery. It's very soft to the touch even after you set your makeup. It actually has amazing skincare properties in it too, which is reoccurring theme when it comes to Sizzly products. I'm just gonna quickly go through the main ingredients that are remarkable. For a deep dive, you're gonna have to check out the dedicated video. It has hibiscus flower in it, which actually gives radiance and maintains the skin hydration levels. Mellow extract that maintains also the hydration levels of the skin. Linden blossom, it's an anti free radical property and it protects the skin from oxidative stress. I didn't know that that was a thing but now that I use this powder I feel very protected. And also vitamin E. This powder lasts all day. I wore this for 14 hours in a dedicated video that I already mentioned before. After 14 hours it looked still amazing. And the newest member of the family is the Fito Poudre Compact. So the compact powder by Sizzly. I am obsessed with the packaging, I'm not gonna lie. I did not make a dedicated video to this one, so I'm gonna go a little more into detail when it comes to this powder. You get one of these faux leather applicators. Did use it, it does work out. You can really touch up throughout the day with that one, so I do like that a lot. It comes in four shades and it has a velvety matte finish. And I can full on honestly claim that I never had a powder in my hands that had more amazing skincare properties in it than this beauty here. The ingredients that Sizzly highlights is a blend of the so-called three butters, which is a unique cocktail of three ultra emollient plant-based butters. We're gonna go through all of the ingredients here. We always do that when it comes to reviews, but due to the fact that the other two already have a dedicated video, we're just gonna skip that here. But this one, we haven't talked about. You have talc, you have trimethicone, which is a form of silicone, which is the reason why this powder is also very blurring. Then you literally have the blend of the three butters that were mentioned earlier on, and most luxury brands they mention fancy ingredients and put them at the bottom of the list because most people don't read the ingredients set, it's just the truth. And they can save money because fancy ingredients cost a lot of money. However, Sizzly is a brand that holds the promises every single time. Then we have the hibiscus flower extract. God bless it. We have ethyl hexylene glycerin and we have some fatty alcohols. You know what? That powder Stunning and stunning girl. Maybe even the stunningest? Why not? That's not a word, I'm aware of that. What I want to say that it is very, very clear that Sisley wanted to create a powder that does do both set your makeup in place, but also really, really hydrates. I think it is quite clear that all three of these powders are amazing, but now we're gonna rank them in different categories to show you which one might work out the best for your needs. The first category that I would love to talk about is the actual setting power. So is it long lasting? Does it hold up throughout the day? And I'm just not gonna talk about this one in this category. So it's just between these two squirrel friends and I have to say she is the clear winner. Never had a powder before and I mean it honestly you can look straight into my eyes while I tell you that. Never had a powder before that held up that well throughout the day. Stunning. It really, really is stunning. It just really sets everything in place and it stays in place. 14 hour wear once more. The compact powder is mediocre when it comes to the long lasting setting effect. I'm having a hard time finding a name for it. While it stays on the skin throughout the whole day and it 
really, really hydrates the skin. The makeup does settle into fine lines more quickly when I use this one than this one. It also rubs off easier, but not easily. So it's not that this powder doesn't have any setting properties in it, but it definitely is not as powerful as the loose one. The next category I'm gonna call blur effect. Very important for me, I was someone I struggled with face powders when I started off makeup because I have a lot of texture on my skin, acne scarring, pores, fine lines, I know it hurts. Obviously in that category, she is the clear winner. Pardon me, how could you think anything else? She's literally called the blur expert. She's got a point. I never had a product like that before. It's next level. If you haven't tried it, just even swatch it in stores. All of these powders once more are so buttery and soft, but this one, like it just blurs. It, it blurs, that's what it was made for. And I'm gonna have to put these two on the same pedestal. Both are number two. They are really, same level blurring, so they definitely blur. Both of these have a high amount of silicone in them, which we stand. Silicone is not our enemy, no matter what Goop tries to tell you. Next up, the ingredients. When it comes to Sizzly, you pay for the ingredients. A lot. I think I have made it quite clear that this one is the powder for you if you are someone who is concerned about ingredients. She is just stunning. Honestly, that is more hydrating than some moisturizers I've used. That powder is just, it's beyond me how a powder can do that. On second place, I'm gonna have to put this one, the loose powder. It also has stunning ingredients, but it's just not as overwhelmingly formulated as the compact version. However, it is still better than 90% of the powders I've tried when it comes to the ingredients. Last spot takes a blur expert. This one has glycerin in it and the rest is silicone, which makes a lot of sense. You want this product to blur, so you don't necessarily want to pack it full of oils or stuff like that, you know? Category four, design. Look at it and tell me you are not in love. You're a liar if you said that. Liar. I'm gonna have to call this the prettiest makeup product I ever held in my hands. It is also beautifully compact, so you can slide this into your purse and touch up throughout the day. Also that one, I love, I love these felt bags. I know people hate on them because they're like, oh, for what do you use them? Well, I use them. I do that, Karen. Second place takes the Blur Expert. The real reason why I really love it, and you can't really tell this on mine here, but I'm gonna throw up a picture of a real original new one. The Sisley imprint. This is the Sisley Orchid, their logo. And it's imprinted on this powder. It obviously fades after using it a couple of times, but you open it up and you're like, wow. Maybe I'm a little bit biased because this was, you know, one of the first two products I ever ordered from Sizzly. Yeah, that one really got me. And on third place, I'm gonna have to put the loose powder. It's a classic, you know, very understated design. Not necessarily something bad, I'm just not a minimalistic person. There is a critique point that I'm gonna have to say. I don't like that the cap is not detachable. I am someone, you know, once I open my powders up, I detach the cap and pour the powder in and then I just pour it back. And when it comes to this one, I have to, you know, pour the powder onto the mirror and then put it back and then the mirror is literally useless because it's full of powder. And also it does not has a closure on top of the sifter. So the product does come out over time. So the design of this is not my favorite. I'm just gonna have to say it the way it is. This was my ranking and now I would love to tell you how I use all three of these powders, even together on one face, like we did today. I never felt so beautiful. The Blur Expert is literally a filter for real life, but also for YouTube, for pictures. You don't need to blur any pores if you wear this one, honestly. I love using this as a primer to really stamp it into the skin, but also as an all over finishing powder. Would I use it as a setting powder? No. The Futu Poudre Libre is, in my personal opinion, the perfect setting powder, period. It sets your makeup in place. A potent setting powder with great skincare properties in it. And the compact powder, in my personal opinion, is what 
Sizzly stands for. An expert in the Maison Sizzly in Munich once told me that even their makeup focuses on skincare more than makeup. And that's what I really was thinking when I used the powder. It is feeling like a skincare treatment that just happens to set my face. Hydrating, moisturizing, blurring, soft to the touch, amazing wear feeling. It most definitely has the most gorgeous skincare properties in it. I can't imagine wearing this one all over my face. Underneath my eyes, I will most definitely stick to the loose powder because I need something that really sets my under eyes. And the Blur Expert will be my perfecting finish moment. Is there a powder that you think you might want to get after this video? Let me know in the comments down below. If you enjoyed it, please give a thumbs up, subscribe and ring a bell. We're gonna see us very soon with a brand new video. Mwah. Bye!